bread and butter. You've probably heard someone refer to their main source of income as their bread and butter. Snack and food sales are my bread and butter. Fuel sales don't earn me much, your uncle might say about his gas station business. You might be at a meeting of bank managers. Home mortgages are our bread and butter, so we need to come up with a way to increase our market share. In game purchases of costumes are our bread and butter, which is why we employ quite a few fashion designers, you explain to a group. Of investors. As is plain to see, bread and butter refers to a person, company, or organization's main source of income or revenue. It refers to the thing that provides them with the most money. The idiom bread and butter goes as far back as the Middle Ages in Europe and was originally used to describe one's basic needs. You can imagine how lunch or dinner for a peasant working the fields in Europe hundreds of years ago consisted mainly of bread and butter. Along with other grains, beans, and vegetables, food we take for granted today was only available in smaller quantities, if ever, such as meat or imported foodstuffs. It is then easy to understand why one's main source of income or revenue. Wages, earnings, or salary for an employee would be called bread and butter. With anything beyond that being described as gravy, indeed, gravy left over from cooking the Lord's meat would be a welcome treat for a common peasant. Commission from mobile phone contracts. Is my bread and butter. Accessory sales are gravy, your friend who works as a mobile phone salesperson might say. We all need to work or contribute to earn our keep or make ends meet somehow, but without an education or educating yourself, you might have to rely on your physical labor. The pitfall with relying on your labor for your bread and butter is that labor is usually the lowest paid type of work and nowadays is being replaced by robots. Thus, it is often a good idea to seek education to pursue specialized knowledge or know how. So that you may be valuable beyond the body that carries your mind. Seeing more, learning more, and understanding more opens doors and often shows you a world you never knew existed. Donors that contribute on an automatic, Recurring monthly basis are our bread and butter, the fundraising manager of a charity might say. You find yourself chatting to a friend who owns a restaurant. Alcohol sales are my bread and butter. Without drink sales, I'd earn a lot less. Sales of women's jewelry are my bread and butter, while men's jewelry is just gravy, your artisan friend might tell you during brunch one day. So, the next time you want to describe 
your main source of earnings, income, or revenue, be sure to describe it as your bread and butter.